Hi and welcome to my channel. Uh, do you want to learn hacking the right way? In this video I'll show you uh, step by step how to set up a complete hacking lab using Kali Linux, Windows 10 and a Metasploitable all inside a VMware workstation. It is 100% uh, isolated and safe and perfect for beginners. So let's get started. So first we need to download everything so and I will uh, add the links, all the links to the, the to the description. So first, we need to download Kali Linux. This is the link, and you need to click there to download that. I have already downloaded that, so I don't need to do it. But this is how you do it. Windows 10. We need to uh, visit this website, and you need to download this. Uh, this tool here and this tool so then click download here and you will get this tool here so let's run that and only I want only to show you how to get a, a Windows ISO file so let's uh, wait a little bit here so here we can we can accept the agreement Here we need to choose create installation media and click next and here we can only uh, we can change that if we need but I'll still with this and next and here you choose ISO file and when you choose this click next and you will get and this uh, tool will start to download this uh, ISO file for you. So let's shut down this now because I have already uh, downloaded it. The next thing that we need to uh, download is Metasploitable. So Metas Metasploitable is an intentionally vulnerable virtual machine designed for security training, penetration testing and practicing uh, exploration techniques. It serves as a safe environment for ethical hackers and uh, security professionals to test tools like Metasploit, without risking harm to real systems so we click here and we get the file this file here this is a zip file and inside it so let's open that open that also we have a vmdk this is a virtual machine that we can open in in vmware workstation and the last thing is we need to download vmware workstation pro and it is free to use you can you can use this link only click here and you will get that you need to have a broadcom um, account to download that uh, vmware workstation pro download so okay these are four things that we need so now let's get started with uh, installing k linux on vmware so first we need to download this file here and this is uh, already created a virtual machine that we can just open in VMware. This is a 3.2 uh, uh, gigabytes. So I have already downloaded this. And when you download this, you get a file like this one here. This file. It is a, a, a zipped file. And when you open that, you need to unzip all so we need to reach these, these files. And now I have copied these files inside my folder here. And which is, which I will use as the uh, Kali VM. So let's go to our VMware and file and open. So we go to D, Kali and choose this one and open. So this is very useful and very fast uh, deplo deployment of Kali. So the only we need to run the machine. So let's let's change the network adapter here from NAT to let's take uh, a VM NAT here. Let's take the host only VM NAT because we need to uh, isolate these machines 
in one network the, these uh, three machines will be able to talk to each other but uh, they uh, they will be unable to talk to the internet this is very important so we put this machine the Kali Linux on the VMnet one click OK here and by the way we need to go to virtual network editor because I need I want to set up uh, static IPs on all machines so we need to uncheck this here use local so mark this click here yes okay mark it again and uncheck this so that the uh, the workstation will not uh, give DHCP to the machines but we will make uh, it choose or use uh, static IPs so we click OK there and we run the machine let's run that and let's slot it install okay so here let's use the default password which is Kelly and Kelly to log in and the first thing to do is to configure the IP address of our interface so let's check uh, what is the name of our interface you can open a CLI command prompt here on if config we can see here this is our interface and we need to add an IP address so let's use the GUI here networking operation let's check this let's change that to manual here and add so this not, let's take this one here a net mask is something that no gateway add the name so like this and save let's check again I think we need to restart we need to restart the interface and to do that we can use this command here so sudo ip link set eth down and the sudo password and up again and now we can check if we not yet maybe we need let's restart once i think we need to restart once to make that happens so let's restart at the same time we can open the metasploitable machine so let's check our download folder here and we need to unzip it okay again there downloads extract all extract let it extract here and we can log in again to check if the interface is configured as well. okay so now we can check again our terminal if config and now we can see that we have an IP address so now uh, we are extracting this let's move open this okay let's copy this metasploitable machine to my disk here and copy it here and then we can open it uh, the same way we did with the uh, Linux. both are ready uh, vmdks so ready uh, vmware machines so open 
and let's go right about end up with that. We only need to change. Okay, we got strong. Let's change both so that it should not reach the internet. This and this same. Okay. And let's run that. And now and now we can let's wait. Starting up and now we can create the Windows machine. So the Kalinux machine is the attacker. This uh, metasploitable machine, the machine that we will attack. So let's next here. <coughs> Choose Windows. Mm, uh, Microsoft Windows 10 64. Let's, okay. let's create a folder here. Call Win 10. Something like that. Okay. So, next. Okay. Let's add our DVD. So here, let's add some memory. Here we can add our ISO. This one. And this should be VMNet1. Let's close and finish. And let's run that also. Log in the default logins for the test is MSF admin. MSF admin. MSF admin. So F config. So here Let's use this command here. And MSF admin. And here we need to edit this. So let's take this little bit down. And we need to add these lines to have it a static IP. Let's, let's move that a little bit up here and then we need to use this address let's take uh, 6 uh, 102 something like that and net mask is something like that and now we can control O to save and control X to exit. And we need to restart the networking based. Let's open again. We need to remove or make these something like that. Let's try again. Let me restart. And now we can check if config. And now we can see we have got our IP. Let's try to ping Kelly. So turn uh, 56 uh, and it is answering. That is a good sign. So let's go to Kelly and ping uh, our machine, our Metasploitable machine ping and two hundred one is this hundred two is our machine. Okay, that is very okay. So now we are done with Kel Linux. This is ready. The metasploitable is ready. Now let's check our. Okay, let's restart this. 
was quick one time. Let's install Windows 10 here. Press any key here. So, uh, before you start hacking, take snapshots of each VM. That way, if something breaks, you can restore everything in seconds. So, you take a snapshot in VMware Workstation, so right click and snapshot and take snapshot. You can call this snapshot1 and description ready with. Uh, static IP for example let's copy that do the same and now you can see here that it is uh, it's going onward let's do the same for this machine snapshot take and ready run the static IP take snapshot and we can there and Swedish keyboard here. Next, install. So I will pause the video here uh, sometimes to just not uh, wait much. Here, as we can see, Windows is nearly done. So let's take a name Win Machine. Next, password. Or we don't need a password, just next. As we can see here, Windows is done uh, uh, installing. So let's configure our IP address as we need. And I will give this machine the 103. So let's click on and change adapter options. Properties uh, and click here. So let's configure our IP address like this. No gateway. Okay, that's enough. Let's try to ping. So PowerShell. Let's try to ping the other machines here. Let's ping. That's okay. And two. That's okay. Let's install. Click on VM here and install VMware tools to make this screen go bigger. So let's check that. Double click on this setup. Click here. Next, next, install. Okay, so at this point, now at this point we can take a snapshot of up. Take snapshot. Okay, ready with static IP something like that big snapshot and your hacking lab now is now up and running so congrats uh, in the next video we will go over the, uh, the essential linux commands every hacker must know if you are serious about learning ethical hacking uh, these are the basics you can't skip so hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications i'll see you in the next one